Hello, today we'll look at Bodhi Linux, but before we proceed, if you prefer the other video without my voice, see the link in the description or the info card above. Bodhi Linux is based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS and by extent Debian. It is a lightweight distribution featuring the first fully customizable Moksha desktop. Like most distros, it is open source and has a small team of active team members which you can join. More on that, check their website. Now, the latest version is version 7.0. It supports both 32-bit and 64-bit processors. The recommended system requirements to install both the Linux are as follows. You need a 64-bit processor with 1 GHz processor speed or more. You need 768 MB of RAM and at least 10 GB of disk space. If you are on the 32-bit PC, here are the minimum requirements. 500 MHz 32-bit processor, at least 512 MB of RAM and 5 GB of disk space. In my case, I'm using a 64-bit processor and 2 GB of RAM on a virtual machine. The standard ISO for downloading is about 1.3 GB in size, very small indeed. The default theme here is this greenish one, but you can easily download other themes if you don't like this one. Now I have to say that this OS really gives me a Windows 7 vibe, so it would be a good option for Windows users transiting to Linux because of their familiar looks. In terms of features and software, Bodhi is a fully fledged Linux OS which means you can easily install any software that you want. Talking about software, you can use the apt repository to fully upgrade your system. Just run the following command, sudo apt update and sudo apt full upgrade on the terminal. Or should I say terminology as they call it here. For those who don't like the terminal, check out the Bodhi Linux app center and install from there. You also have the Synaptic Package Manager, Snaps, Flatpak, and App Image, as well as the Debian Package Installer to help you with your software install needs. Drivers can be installed for both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and the easiest way to do that would be during installation by checking the option to install that party software and download updates during installation. Now let's dive in and see what we have here. On the desktop, we have this clock, which upon clicking will show you a calendar. On the right we have the open desktop workspaces that you can easily change from one to another. At the bottom we have the taskbar with the start button on the left and the usual power, volume and notifications on the right. Some of the apps installed include Chromium browser and we have this web browser manager if you want to install extra browsers. We have Thuna file manager and finally for text editing we have the leaf pad. You can install LibreOffice if you need it, just like you would on any other Debian based OS. And that's a wrap for Bodhi Linux. Thank you guys for watching. Click here to see the overview video. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and see you on the next one. Peace.